Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Novus Big solder fume extractor with LED magnifier and helping hands. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So we have the specifications. The maximum airflow is 3,300 milliliters per minute. Light source is LED. Material is plastic and aluminum alloy. Lumens is 790. Voltage is 110. Here's the packing list. It comes with the soldering smoke absorber fan, 3X magnifying lamp, 5 volt 2 amp adapter, 2 alligator clips, 2 flex arms, 4 piece carbon filter sponge. And here we have the arms. Here it says disconnect the power before servicing the equipment. This talks about the warranty. This talks about the light. So this light has three color temperatures and 10 levels of dimming. So I'll get all this taken out of the package so we can look at it. Okay, so here's the fume extractor itself. It has this sponge filter. It's a carbon filter. And you can pull this out of here. Like so. It's under the metal. And this comes with three extra filters. Here's the fan on the back, you can see it. It has rubber feet on the bottom. So that has pretty good anti-skid on there. There's a threaded nut on the side here, side here, and on the top to mount the accessories. So I'll do that. Here's the lighted magnifier. We'll put that on first. And it does have a wrench to tighten that down. Next, I'll put on the helping hands arms. So the helping hands come with alligator clips and knurled knobs, and it does come with an extra in case you lose or damage one. So I'll put this little set screw in. I can place the alligator clip in the end, and these will rotate around to whatever position you want. And then you can lock them down, like so. So this does require two different plugs. It has a USB outlet, and this is the five volts at two amps, and that's for the LED light, and then it has a grounded plug for the fan itself, and that has a switch on the cord. So I'll get this plugged in, and I'll plug in the USB. So let's take a look at the magnifying light, turn it on, turn my camera light off. So here's the light. We can press plus to turn the brightness up. We can do minus to turn it down. There's those 10 levels of dimming. Then the button between the plus and minus will rotate between the color temperatures. So this is the cool, this is the warm, and this is the white. So I tend to prefer white, and I'll have the brightness all the way up. And here's the magnifier, and this does feel like glass, and we have the helping hands here. So let me turn the fan on. So there's the fan. So I just wanted to set this up on my bench. I have a little bit better lighting here. Now I'll move it into my shop so we can check it out. Okay, so I have this set up in my shop now. You can see the magnifier here is over this circuit board. So this is without magnification. And this is with. So the magnification is a little bit more pronounced in person than it is on camera, but you can see it there. So I'll turn on the vent fan. I can't really talk while it's on. And I will zoom out so you can see it sucking the fumes away from where I'm soldering. So I added some solder to these wires here so I could help remove them and you could see the fumes were sucked into the fume extractor. So that's the Novus Big fume extractor with magnifier and helping hands. I think this is a very handy fume extractor. It has the helping hands on it so you don't need a separate helping hands and then it also has the magnifier light on it. A fume extractor like this would be great in a multi-use workspace so you can lift up this whole unit and take your helping hands, your magnifier, and your fume extractor with you all at once. So you could put this on a shelf and then pull it down to your workbench when you're ready to use it and when you're done it's easy to stow away as opposed to having separate helping hands and magnifier. This would also work well on the go in a work vehicle or something. You'd have to make sure that these arms and the magnifier don't get damaged but certainly you could strap this down or something in a work truck but it's a nice way to have all those features in one unit. Now I noticed this could get tippy if you had say the magnifier out here and you hit it or the helping hands so you want to have this close by to the fan. You want it close to the fan anyway 
just as you're working. But that also moves the center of balance towards the center of the fan and makes it a little more stable. Of course, if you needed to, you could always create a mount to kind of strap this down to a surface too. But I find that if you have these arms up close to it, it's plenty stable. So this does come with four filters, the one that's in it and three extras. So as you wear those out, you already have replacements. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.